welcome to my model of the Hellinglie Hospital Railway. You might well ask why somebody who lives 200 miles north of the prototype, which is actually found about 20 miles from Brighton on the south coast of England, chooses to model a weird asylum railway that hardly anybody travelled on, or at least if they did travel on it, you didn't really want to meet them at an exhibition. Well, it all comes down to the loco itself. Now this little loco, there's a drawing of it on the front of a book by Peter Harding, giving me the history of the uh, line. And I absolutely fell in love with the loco and the concept of doing something as a private railway. The line itself was originally a contractor's railway. Now, Hellinglow Hospital is a massive place with millions of bricks and they needed to move them from the railhead, which was about a mile and a quarter away, into the site of the uh, building work. And once the line had been built and used, the visiting committee, the people who ran the hospital, decided they would electrify it and keep it as a line to move people and goods up from the uh, station to the uh, hospital. Now, in 1902, when the hospital opened, there obviously wasn't a national grid, so they had their own generating station on, on site for all this newfangled electricity that the Victorians were so excited about. And that meant they had to bring coal up. Now, the roads around that area didn't receive tarmac until the 1950s, so moving coal or goods or any of the other stuff that a large site would need was obviously a challenge without a railway. Hence, there was this tiny little line operating for best part of 60 years, hidden away down on the south coast and just being a really interesting prototype, certainly from a historical point of view. With the contractors on site, obviously the people who are paying for the hospital, that's the visiting committee as they were known, will be examining the works and I thought it made a nice little scene where what I assume is one of the foremen is showing them the newly built Weybridge hut. My model is deliberately a very small railway. It's three and a half feet long. I describe it as very much a cameo scene trying to encompass the whole railway into a short space. So we start off at this end with the park drive and all the parkland because the line itself ran along a beautifully manicured um, entrance to the hospital site after it had crossed through a couple of farmers fields. And we then move on to the one and only siding in the main area before finishing up with the engine shed. Well, the engine shed was still existed as an MOT centre when I was uh, originally researching the model, so it was possible to get some measurements off that. The water tower in the back was a landmark and could be seen for quite some distance uh, around the area. The rest of it, I'll be honest, is largely made up to make it a more attractive scene rather than worrying about absolute prototype fidelity. Having said that, um, there are areas, things like the Weybridge Hut, they are really genuine buildings and uh, I've only just managed to get photos of that and it turns out that I've made a pretty good guess with my version of the Weybridge Hut. So everything here is based on the real, real thing but um, with a few tweaks to make it into an interesting looking model. Right, thanks very much. I hope you've enjoyed your visit to the Hellinglie Hospital Railway.